Hello, everyone. Ha, huh, I'm coming to you from holiday time. Uh, you know that time when everything's just out of whack because you're not on a schedule. Yesterday, my husband went back to work, but today is kind of my first day and actually the last one of this week. So I'm just kind of all over the place a little bit. And uh, my daughter actually went to school today. So she's at a private school. So they actually have today and tomorrow. Uh, but we'll probably keep her home. Anyways, um, I would love to hear. So I actually have, I have to move a couple things in case anybody is live. I get to see you a little bit better. I'm blocking some of my stuff. Um, so let me just take care of that now. So grab your coffee or your tea or smoothie, anything, your mojito, whatever you feel like today. Mine actually has eggnog in it, my coffee. Um, started putting that over the holiday season. Anyways, let's get right to it. And if you're watching this for the very first time, I am Jody Nisiak, and I'm a mother of two young children and a wife an entrepreneur, and a an mommy girl expert and coach. So welcome. And if you're watching this later, please still comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So here we begin. And I, can you believe it? In just a few days, I'm pretty sure Facebook counted down. Was it today? That's like three days till to the new year. Can you believe that 2017 is almost over and we're beginning a new year? It's almost like a new slate. Um, so it's like anything that we always just seem that the new year just is that new starting point. And, uh, but before we start, I'd like to celebrate this past year. And the thing is, it can be so easy to focus on all the negative things that, that has come up for you in your, in your, your year and just really, um, you know, the, the events and the things you did maybe that you weren't proud of. It's just really easy to focus on that. Uh, but at this point, I'd really like you to focus on the wow moments. Now, if you haven't been reading different things I've done, and you'll hear noise because my husband's actually just home now um, from dropping off my daughter. Um, but so my wow, my wow, my word for 2017 was wow. And um, so if you haven't been following along reading or watching other videos, my word is wow, or what did this past year. And uh, I actually didn't think I was living up to it, but turns out I did. I really wowed the pants off myself this past year. So anyways, I started picking a word last year. I think it's just a lot of fun. It's really easy to do. And then when you make your plans throughout the year, you can actually just focus on your word and, um, and things like that. So anyways, we'll get talking about that. And, uh, but before we do that, sorry, just looking at my notes, I want to check in. I want to check in and see how you were doing over the holiday season first. A real just quick and check in. So if you are live or you're watching this later, I'd love to hear what is going on for you. Did you have a really good holiday? Did you have a meltdown? Did you, what, what showed up for you? Or are you still celebrating? Because here's the thing. I'm still celebrating. I still have two more Christmases to celebrate. I'm celebrating with my family, my parents and my siblings, and my niece and nephew on Saturday. And uh, just because of things, we, we've moved Christmas around. So um, Saturday we're celebrating. And then we're gonna try and go to um, my husband's side of the family, which is two hour drive, so depending on weather, we are planning on celebrating the Ukrainian Christmas on January 7th. So we still have two more to go. So I'd love to hear, are you still celebrating Christmas or are you kind of like, it's done, you're moving on to New Year's. I'd love to hear where you're at in the holiday season. Are you kind of done with it? You want your kids to go back to school? Maybe you're already back to work um, or you're a stay at home mom and you really want your kids to go back to school. I would love to hear your thoughts. And, and, uh, so, I'd love to hear you. Um, and we, and if you're still celebrating, and now um, I'd also like to share my wins for this year. And I really encourage and invite you to share your wins with me as well, or with the group. So um, just post below 
and uh, I would love to hear your wins. So my wins, unfortunately, I actually wrote them down last night because I knew our mornings have been a little crazy um, because our nights have been even crazier. So I wrote them down just so I don't forget because I've had a many, many wins this year and it was really hard at, at a, um, to really pinpoint what they were, but I picked three big wins this year that really st stood out for me and I feel like will really get my 2017, or sorry, 2018 um, on a really good start this, this coming year. So my wins are, I stepped way out of my comfort zone. I have taken leaps upon and leaps out of my comfort zone this year. I have done things that when I was told this is the next step to do in my business, I felt so sick to my stomach, but I did it anyways. And once I did it, I was like, oh, that was it. That's all, and it really actually was a growth moment for me. So all these things that really, really uh, scared me, and I and I did them anyways, have really, really made this year a really amazing rocking wow year for me. And wow, did I step out of my comfort zone. <laughs> that was one of my biggest wins. And I look forward to seeing what other comfort zones I have to step out of or, you know, where I can expand this coming year. And uh, I never gave up. Even today, I felt like giving up. My son was up a lot. And now instead of just feeding and going back to bed, he is up for at least an hour at a time. He doesn't want to go back to bed. He wants snuggles, which is lovely. Um, but I can always sustain those kinds of nights like once, maybe every little while. And instead of I'm waking up every single night. So it's really easy to want to give up when I'm not sleeping because I just want to give up. I like to be honest. So it's like, is it worth it? Am I, you know, so all these questionable thoughts come into my head. And I never gave up this year, even though I felt like throwing in a towel way more than I'd like to admit, but like a, a lot. So I never gave up. And, and that in itself is a huge win for me. There are things that I even talked to my business coach about that, where there would be times where the things that I've seen, or not that, seen, sorry, the things I have come across, challenges and struggles in the past, I would have thrown in the towel. I would have just been like, no, this is too hard. This is, this is not worth it. Instead, I pushed through. And uh, I can't remember exactly. There is one really big turning point, and I unfortunately can't recall it right now. It'll come back to me later. But there has been many where it's like, you know what? In the past, I would have I would have ran. I would have thrown it in. And so that was a huge, huge win for me this year. And the other one actually just came on Christmas Day. So even though I've done all the self-care over the before the holidays, all the self-love, nothing could get me or prepare me for not sleeping. Christmas Eve, both kids were up in a really, really bad funk. We couldn't get them out of it, so we were up. So my Christmas, I held it together for the most part, but eventually my I didn't have a nap because um, the kids didn't nap, actually. So just at the end of the day, I, I had a little bit of a meltdown. But in that moment, I had a breakthrough. So what I mean by that is I'm actually going to share what came out of me. I literally started writing and I really got clear on a couple things. And this is where my last win happened on Christmas Day. I was actually really, really frustrated with life and frustration or with just life and the, just everything. I was really frustrated with that day. Um, and... <laughs> And I just was really, I got angry. And in that anger, I really got clear. And I'll share, like I said, I'll share what I wrote with you. I'm hoping to post it today. And in it, I realized that I've been trying to be somebody in my business, in my life, that I'm not right now. Yes, I'm an empowerment coach. And yes, I, I graduated uh, with my master empowerment coach. And I've done all these things. I've done all this healing. But because I'm not sleeping right now, I am not my best. I am not. But in this not being the best, I've actually become a better coach, a better mom, a better, a better wife. 
because I now have this other hurdle to get over, the sleep deprivation. And I'd actually love to know what it's called after it's been on for a year because it's past the sleep deprivation at this point. It really is. So I love there has to be another word. And if there isn't, there should be one created. Um, because there's times where you, I don't even know what day it is or what, what my husband doesn't know his own name sometimes. Like it is really bad and we don't drive places when we're tired now. So we are very much homebound and there's just been a lot going on. And this year I really want to focus on how to figure out how to help my son sleep. Um, but anyways, that's a whole different story. But in this breakdown that I had, this little thing, I really realized that I'm okay with where I am right now. That it's okay not to be empowered all the time because it's not making excuses, but it's being that loving, my loving self to myself, treating myself. Like if my daughter wasn't sleeping, I wouldn't be beating her up for not being able to, you know, get the good grades in school. It'd be like, okay, well, you're dealing with no sleep right now. Like, how can we help you? And that's where I really have to ask myself, how can I help? So there'll probably be some changes with my business structure and what I'm offering for at least a little bit until I get a handle on my sleep. Um, the thing is, though, I'm okay with where I am. And that was one of, like, it was a really amazing breakdown, break, breakdown, break up moment. Like, it was really just, it was incredible. I can't explain how amazing it was. But that's, like, one of my biggest wins, and it came right at the end of the year. So listen to yourself, figure it out what are your wins. And you can write down like 10 if you want. Like if you had a crazy amount of wins, um, it's amazing. And then this way you can actually focus on the good instead of all the ne the negative things that could ha that have happened over the year. Because they have they do happen, um, but they don't have to make your year um, negative. And the other thing is I would love to see actually some of your negative moments because what we can do is you can turn your negative into a learning experience. Like for my Christmas experience, how, how it was a horrible thing. And actually, it's really incredible. I bounced back. I bounced back pretty quickly. I had my moment. I was like, okay. And I just, it was a real process. And if anybody wants to learn my process, I can definitely share it with you. Um, it doesn't take um, long for me to jump, uh, bounce back anymore. And, and it's not, it's not leaving the emotions under the surface, like kind of burying them, be like, oh, I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Like, that's not what I do anymore. That's what I used to do, thinking that, oh, if you don't deal with them, you're happy and it's okay to just forget about what you're feeling. Instead, I actually feel I had a cry. I had a real good cry. Um, I got really angry. I had a really good yell, like obviously away from the kids, away from my husband, and I had a really good moment. And I went from there. So... I would love to hear what your wins are. Maybe something that happened to you that looked negative or seems negative and what you learned from it. And I would love to hear, you can even share more than one if you like. I would love to hear what it is. And I'm just looking quickly. Um, I know I have one more, I have one more little topic that we want, I want to share. I am, I'm trying my best this year or going into the new year um, trying to keep coffee chat to about 15 minutes because that's usually how long it takes to drink a coffee. At least, and sometimes, maybe it actually doesn't take that long. But anyways, I'm going to try and keep it 15 minutes. I respect your time. I respect that, you know, you're all moms and you have other things to do. So I want to keep it short um, the best I can. And of course, if there's questions or different things that come up, I'll answer them. I won't cut it off at 15 minutes, but I will try uh, to keep it around a 15 minute mark now. And we started a little late, so I have to try and do the math now of, of where we're at. So I just want to end with um, trying to set you up for a great year. Um, so I mentioned before that I pick a word of the year, and it started last year. So this year, I've decided to pick the word epic, an epic good time, epic adventures, epically stepping out of my comfort zone, epically growing epically learning with like all these fun things like just epic and the moment I put the word I saw the word everywhere so I feel like that's a good sign that that is this is my word 
so I really encourage you. It's something fun to do. If you have nowhere, nowhere you really want to start, just taking a moment or just set the intention that you want to pick a word this year. And it's amazing because a word will probably find you. Last year, I, had, I was like, I have to pick a word because like, I had this planner thing and they're about picking words. And just out of the blue, my word came to me. So just it's setting the intention that you want to have a word in 2018. And eventually, like, don't don't try to. Oh, and okay, he's probably hear my son. I'm just finishing up breakfast with my husband. Um, but picking a word can be fun. And it's it's quite simple. And yet at the same time, like the word will come find you. So don't try and push it. Don't force picking a word. Uh, and just set an intention. So I just have a couple things I want to just find here. The sun's shining in my eyes today. So uh, <laughs> I can't actually um, read everything that I wrote last night. Just but um, setting yourself up for epic here. Yeah. Epic 2017, or sorry, 18. Wow, I really apparently want to say in 17. So, what are a couple simple little things? Is set realistic goals. Now, everybody kind of knows that, and everybody's probably saying that you probably got a million emails. It's setting realistic goals, but you really kind of need to know where you want to go to get there. It's like picking a de destination for a vac vacation. Um, you can go anywhere and just travel anywhere, but you're probably going to spend a lot of time wandering, which is cool. You can see a lot of things. But if you have an end destination in mind, at least you know what direction you want to start in. And that's what really matters. So it's figuring out. Um, and it can be as simple as this. What do you want to feel this year? It's not, it doesn't have to be a big, like, I need to accomplish this. It can be really challenging to have a big goal like that if, you know, for me, you're not sleeping. Or you just have these other things going on in your life and the, the idea of having this ginormous goal is overwhelming. It can be as simple as what do you want to feel this year. And then you start doing things that help you feel that way. Maybe it's adventurous. So it's doing things that are maybe a little out of your comfort zone. And, you know, making a list of places you want to, you know, see that are maybe a little bit adventurous. So remember, you need to know where you're headed, to, at least in a direction. So, yeah, start small. Or, you know, pick something simple and then start small. Not now. I really love that. Uh, take action steps. It really is about taking action. And it can be as simple as doing something little every day. Say it is that you want to go on a family vacation. It might just be that every day. Um, you either find ways to save money around the house and you put that money towards your vacation or you're doing little steps of like maybe you need your passport and you just do little steps every day. It's like, okay, what do, what are the steps? I need to even do my passport. Like it can be little. And um, be loving to yourself along the way and gentle. One of the biggest things I've ever learned is sometimes you, sometimes you hit your goal on time and sometimes it takes a lot longer than anticipated. But maybe it was meant to be because there's a lot of learning and growing in between there and your goal. And uh, I've definitely had a lot of that this past year, thinking that I'd reached this goal and it did not happen. It took a lot longer. So just be gentle with the process because something amazing is happening in that process. You just need to relax and really learn and see where it, where it goes. So. And if you do fail and hit the wall, get back up, dust yourself off, and if need be, start, uh, you know, go at it a different way. So, you know, maybe you're looking at something a little different, um, or sorry, maybe you're, you keep, you know, you fail and it's like, oh, you're going to try to do exactly the same way. Maybe you just need to, to tweak it a little bit or get help. Um, talk to somebody that's already done that. And, and really just work with a working plan and just keep going until you get it, um, until it works out. So there's a couple little itty bitty steps to get you to an epic good year or an epic year. And it's just having support. It's having, you know, this group coming to coffee chat. Um, one of the questions I'd love to know, and maybe I'll post a poll in the group as well, is what time would work best for coffee chat? Um, I used to pick, I picked 10 o'clock. 
Eastern um, because that was when my son was napping when I started this. And now it's been over a year. And I even have a hard time reaching this time now. So I'm actually looking, like I said before, I'm looking into rechanging everything. Uh, not everything, but I'm just changing to figure out, um, one, how to help you more and how I can show up the best I can this coming year. I'd love to hear. So if you watch this video and you're like, yes, I want to I wanna actually show up live and you haven't been able to because it's not the time, I'd love to hear the time in the comments as well. So in the comments, you can share your word of the year, your wins, your the struggles or challenges you've had but now are learning um, moments to move you into 2018, a growth moment. And what time works best for you for coffee chat? And keep in mind, I'm going to try it now. I'm running a little late. This It's almost it's about 20 minutes now, but I'm going to try and keep it closer to the 15-minute mark than the half-an-hour mark. And eventually, I will get there um, and probably have it exactly 15 minutes all the time because um, I never even thought about it before, but it was always half an hour, and it just it seemed to always work that way. So eventually, I will get to the 15-minute mark, and then this way, um, it's a little easier to watch when you're on the go. Or you can even listen to it. You don't even have to look at me. Uh, you can just have this on while you're doing something. I hope, or I'd love though, if you could show up with your coffee or tea and, and actually join me, but you need to listen to it later. You can always just listen, not watch. So anyways, um, but as I ramble on now, I hope you had had an amazing 2017 and that it was, you wowed the, the pants on your as well. Or at least, if you actually had a word from last year, um, I hope it was that kind of year for you. And I really look forward to growing and, and connecting. That was another one, Epic Connections. I really want to get to know you better on an epic level. And I'd love to hear where I can help you. And because even though I'm always empowered, I do I show up quite often empowered. I just have a lot more moments that I don't like that are not empowering because, you know, if I haven't napped or slept well. So I definitely can tap into my empowerment pretty quickly because of, I have a lot of healing. Anyways, it goes into, I go into a little bit more what I wrote. But know that I may not be perfect. <laughs> no one is. Um, but I'm accepting my imperfections. And that is actually a really empowering, awesome uh, thing to happen. So I wish you the most amazing 2018. I literally haven't been on here much because I've been celebrating holidays. But I will look forward to, I should be able to see you next week at Coffee Chat. If something changes, I'll post. Uh, but I hope you have an amazing 2018. And I am so grateful to have spent 2017 with you. And... I've loved every moment. Okay, maybe not every moment. But there's been moments where I'm like, ah, why did I pick coffee chat at 10 and I can't get here? Or just different moments. But I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here and being part of this amazing, epic adventure. I don't know. Happy New Year.